report released today by the New Orleans Inspector General corroborates the findings of our eyewitness investigation last week. It found that sewage and water board employees are illegally using handicap tags belonging to other people to park in front of their downtown office. Well, that report goes on to put a substantial dollar amount on just how much money the city is missing out on. Here's Mike Perlstein with a follow-up to his exclusive investigation. This is a whole handicap parking racket. That's how City Councilman Oliver Thomas reacted to our findings last week that sewage and water board employees were misusing handicap placards to park illegally in front of their Joseph Street office. We found 19 uh, sewage and water board employees uh, that were possessing and displaying a disability parking permit that was not issued to them. Inspector General Ed Michelle is now revealing the hard numbers. 16 employees using placards belonging to someone else, and three using the placards of dead people. And all this comes at a cost to taxpayers. If you consider the lack of fees being collected at the parking meters, and you add in the cost that the city is paying for parking spaces in a garage, and you add those up, the total dollar loss per year is about $130,000. Last week, we showed that several employees were illegally using the placards despite having designated parking spaces in this nearby garage, spaces that cost the city $5,200 a month. And the problem is hardly new. The same problem was exposed by the IG five years ago, including a handful of the employees caught recently. Seven of those were actually identified in the 2017 report as conducting the same violation. I'm a disabled veteran, and I come down there, I got to put money in the meter, and they don't. And, and that's a shame. When an investigator with the Inspector General's office caught an employee in the act misusing a placard, the employee responded, write it down, baby, it's legit. Well, it wasn't. Michelle hopes the employees clean up their act. And if they don't, I'll be back out there. Mike Perlstein, Eyewitness News. It responded with warnings to the employee violators and the agency also requested stepped up enforcement by the Department of Public Works.